last time I gave my mom a hug Every day I'm smoking bug, getting drunk, having fun Homework not getting done, make it count low on funds I sweep it under the rug, it bites me in the butt, what the fuck I wonder why I'm in the dumps, getting stuck in the mud Just know that change is gonna come, uh I'm my own enemy And it's clear to see what is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now today, EA ended up dropping the new the new 4th of, Jul of July campaign here at NBA Live Mobile. So we're gonna be taking a look at it and we're gonna be seeing what we can get. No money spent, you guys already know the drill. So make sure to click that like button and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I do drop a new video, man. Shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks, bro. Last night, they ended up uh, defeating the Atlanta Hawks. And now we got the Suns versus the Milwaukee Bucks. So let me know in the comments down below who you guys got winning the NBA Finals. Me personally, I'm rooting for the Phoenix Suns. But I think this is going to go to Game 7, man. This series is going to be insane. The Bucks have been playing very hard without Giannis. They've honestly been playing very hard without Giannis. I honestly thought like when Giannis got injured, I thought the Hawks were going to take it. But it seems like the Bucks were playing better without Giannis. So it's going to be an interesting series. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys got taking the whole thing. I got the Suns taking it, but I think it's going to be a good and close series. All right. So we should be getting the NBA Finals promo very soon in the next couple of days since uh, both teams have advanced. So hopefully it's fire. You know what I'm saying? We already got the Steve Nash from the Conference Finals promo. So hopefully the NBA Finals campaign is fire so that we can continue to upgrade the team. All right. So let's take a look at this new 4th of July campaign. Um, before we do get into it, you guys already know, my new album, The Second Coming, is streaming live on all platforms. Make sure you guys go ahead and show some love. That album already has over 7,000 streams. So I appreciate you guys showing love. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy the album, if you enjoy the album, if you guys listen to it already. All right, that link will be down in the, in the description. So make sure to go ahead and check it out. All right, it is 7 a.m. So I'm sitting here stumbling and bumbling over my words. You feel me? So you guys gotta let me slide. All right, so the new masters we got. All right, so, um, <clears throat> so since we already uh completed the Steve Nash. There really hasn't been anything for me to grind these past couple of days. So I've been using these past few days to grind for the, uh, sh not strategic, but for the finesse Steve Kerr. All right. I want to start, I want to start building a finesse lineup. All right. So we're, we're currently grinding for the Steve Kerr. We're almost done with it. It's a long grind. That Steve Kerr takes forever to get, but we're getting very close to getting it done. So we're looking to start building a finesse lineup because, you know, these next couple of masters that we're going to be getting, they are finesse players like the uh, Zion Williamson from the live pass. He's a finesse player. We also got this 98 Iverson, which is also finesse. And we got that Devin Booker. If they win, you know, the entire, uh, you know, NBA finals, that Devin Booker is going to be fully maxed out. So we're looking to get him as well. So this team is about to be looking crazy, all right? We're going to be having uh, basically two fire lineups, all right, by by the, by uh, by the time everything is done, all right? So let's take a look at these players. We got a 98 Allen Iverson with 100 speed, 100 agility, 95 dribble speed, 94 dribbling, 84 first step. He has 98 quickness, 84 dunk, 100 layup, 91 inside paint shot, 102 scoring with contact, 100 mid-range. I wish he had a higher three-pointer, but he does have 93 three-pointer. Uh, 99 contested shot, 98 shooting touch, 102 shot off dribble, and he also has 103 steal. So he looks like a pretty good card. We also got a 96 wood, all right? Now, uh, I currently have a strategic lineup, and he could definitely be an upgrade for our team. So we're definitely going to be getting this dude for our strategic lineup. He has 89 dunk, 92 layup, 94 inside paint shot, 91 scoring with contact. He has 86 mid range, 88 three pointer, 92 vertical, 93 tip in, 91 offensive and defensive rebounding. So 
you know, his card really isn't super crazy, but he'll do, all right? And if we throw him into the team, he might get boosted up to like a 98, 99, all right? So that'll improve our overall. So we're going to be going for him. We also got a Bradley. We do not need this card because we already got Manu Ginobili and we got Vince Carter as well. So we do not need this Bradley, but we'll take a look at him anyway because one of you guys might need him. He has 91 dunk, 95 layup. 91 inside paint shot, 92 scoring with contact, 92 mid-range, 86 three-pointer, 93 vertical, 95 tip in, uh, 95 strength. You know, this card really isn't that crazy. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, and then we also got 93 Thompson. Uh, he really doesn't look too great, but he is only a 93 power, power forward. So if you guys need that, then definitely go for him. And then we got... A 91 free right here with a 90 mid range, 81 three pointer, 95 dunk, 93 layup, pretty solid right there. So we're still currently a 99 overall. As you guys can see, the team really doesn't look different. But my second lineup right here, this is going to be my finesse lineup. All right, uh, we currently got the 97 Bogdan Bogdanovich. All right, so uh, we currently don't have a lot of coins. So. We're going to start building this finesse lineup from the ground up. We're currently grinding for the Steve Kerr, like I said. So he is currently the best finesse boost item you can have. You could get a finesse medal, but the Steve Kerr is better for boosts. All right. So if you guys are currently running a finesse lineup, get that Steve Kerr. All right. It is going to be a grind, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, so let's go over to live today and let's take a look at this 4th of July campaign. And it looks like this is going to be one of those uh, pay to win type campaigns. So it looks like this is set up kind of how uh, the Donovan Mitchell, or was it the, was it Don, no Damian Lillard? That's what it was. This is kind of set up uh, just like the uh, Damian Lillard, you know, with the events because you have to spend money to unlock a VIP event. So it looks like we have five events every single day that we're looking to play. You win this event for a fireworks token and a 77 to 86 overall player. So let's go ahead and dive into that real quick. And then let's just see what we can go ahead and get. And then let's see also, you know, if the event is like super hard or super easy, is it going to be quick? So it looks like all we have to do is score a three pointer. So let's go ahead and do that. Holiday, we're going to go into the corner. 20% smart. All right, it's a good thing we got that rebound. All right, get it back to uh, LeBron. Let's see if LeBron can hit something. We're going to go around. Ginobili with the screen. Splash, 20%. All right, so boom. There is that right there. So this is going to give us a fireworks token and it looks like a 77 to 86. Looks like we get an 81 DeMar DeRozan right there, all right? All right, guys, so out of that pack right there, we ended up getting uh, the Elite Player and uh, one Fireworks token. You can, uh, if we go over to the store right here, and if we go over to 4th of July, so it looks like if you want to unlock that other event, you do have to purchase the VIP event pass, all right? And this one is going to give you two fireworks tokens and 300 stamina, and you'll be able to unlock five additional events that you could play every single day to get these players. So it looks like um, we also have a fireworks bundle or a firecracker bundle, which gives you uh, three firecracker change packs. And you guys can see, bro, we still have all of our NBA cash from our previous video, you know, after we bought the live pass, after we bought the monthly master starter, we had like 5,000 NBA cash. We spent a little bit of it, but we still have 3,894 right here. So it looks like every single day we'll be able to claim a fireworks token. Now this event will last five total days. So by the end of the promo, we'll be able to claim five tokens from the store. Um, we also have, you know, a couple of packs right here. Uh, you can spend 4,500 cash for 30 fireworks tokens and 1077 pluses. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it, it looks like it looks like one of those, you know, quick little money grab promos. But let's take a look at the sets and let's see if it's actually possible to get this Allen Iverson without having to spend, you know, so much money. So. Uh, we got three different master sets right here to get the 91 free. It looks like you need to put in 20 fireworks tokens. 
you need 10 elite players which are uh, you know 82 to 86 overalls and then you need 20 77 to 81 so it looks like however you're able to put your legacy players in there which is nice so that definitely uh, takes a lot of the burden off of it and then right here to get the 93 you need 40 firework tokens so the hardest thing is going to be to get the firework tokens you know and then we only have if you don't buy the vip event you only have five events all right so you're only able to get five of those firework tokens every single day we're going to go back to the events just to take another look but to get the 98 iverson you're going to need to complete all three of the masters and you're going to need to put in of course the 40 fireworks as well and all of these players all right so it's going to be it's going to be a grind to get the iverson if we go back over um it looks like you can exchange uh elite playoff players for firework tokens as well but you know those players are going for like 40k a pop so that's 80k per set for one token so i don't know if you guys would want to do that um conference finals promo i'm already done grinding it so let's go back over to the campaign real quick it is just a quick five day live live today little campaign so second event we only get one firework token third event it looks like we only get one firework token fourth event we only get one and then the fifth event we only get one all right uh if you buy the vip it looks like you only get one for each event all right so if you take if we tally everything up all right and it looks like these events uh refresh every single day all right so we're getting five tokens a day from the left side and if you buy the vip pass which is only five dollars so you might want to get that uh that's another five tokens all right so we're getting 10 firework tokens a day you know if we buy the vip pass if you guys don't have the money for the vip pass then you're only going to get five tokens per day all right so let's see if it's possible to get this Allen iverson so if we're getting 10 collectibles per day with the vip event multiply that by five days because this is a five day promo all right that's going to be a total of 50 of them firework tokens that we're going to be getting from these events all right if we go over to the store, 4th of July, you guys saw we claimed the token as well. All right, so we're gonna be able to claim one token every single day. So that's five tokens we're gonna to be getting from the store. All right, so it looks like that's all we can get without buying, you know, any extra packs from the store. All right, so <clears throat> that's gonna give us a total of 55 firework tokens by the end of the promo. So if we go over to the sets, let's see what we can get with 55 of these, all right? So if we wanna get the Allen Iverson, we have to complete all three of these sets first, all right? So 55 tokens, that'll get us the free right here. And uh, that's about it. Uh, if you can get an extra five tokens, you'll be able to get a 93 as well, all right? So uh, like if you have any leftover like NBA cash, you might be able to buy the remainder you know the remain the remain the remaining sorry the remaining amount of points or the remaining amount of tokens you need for the set so it looks like you know if you don't spend a decent amount of money you're only going to be able to get a 91 and possibly a 93 from this promo so this promo is honestly not good if we're keeping it 100 this promo is not good at all uh you're going to have to spend a good amount of cash to even have a chance at getting the Allen iverson because you're going to need 20 fireworks for this set you're going to need 40 for this set so that's a total of 60 right you're going to need another 60 for the christian wood so that's a total of 120 and then you need 40 for the Allen Iverson. So you're gonna need 160 of these firework tokens. Now, like I said, if you grind all the events, if you buy the VIP pass, if you do all that stuff every single day, the promo's out for the five days, you're gonna get a total of 55 tokens. So you're gonna to need to find a way, if you want the Allen Iverson, you're gonna to need to find a way to get an additional 105 
of these firework tickets or not tickets but collectibles you're going to need to get an additional 105 all right and the only way to do that is from the store as you guys can see so we currently have 3,894 NBA cash uh, let's see what we got here so we got a fire firecracker chance pack uh, we get a firework token out of each one of these but we have a 5% chance at a firecracker player all right I'm wondering should I waste my NBA cash on this all right we also got a firecracker special that'll give you either a 95 Carmelo Anthony or a 95 Bill Bradley I'm not really interested in those cards uh, the Carmelo Anthony could go in my finesse lineup but I'm not going to spend the 7500 cash for it we could pull a couple packs we could do five of these all right to end off the video I'll go ahead and shred some packs all right you know I've been waiting for some more packs to come in the store so uh since we're trying to build up a finesse lineup we could try to pull that carmelo anthony so you guys already know the drill let's get some pack look bombs in the chat let's get some scotties in the chat for some good pack luck hopefully we can pull some heat i'm re i'm legit recording this video right when the content dropped so hopefully that'll give us some more uh pack luck first pack we only get a fireworks collectible man this is a risk all right this is a pretty big risk all right we are going to be opening up five of these if we do not pull a 95 overall then that's 2500 nba cash down the drain it is what it is after we go ahead and open up these packs i'll show you guys my progress on that steve kerr all right so we got two more all right <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and cover up the screen for this one all right three two one bam fireworks all right guys we got one more we got one more hopefully we can clutch out some heat out of this last pack three two one bam oh wait did we oh bam wait did we what, what did we get <laughs> what was that wait let me just check did we get him no we did not all right no we did not so we weren't really able to pull anything out of that right there um the first player i do want to get from this promo though however is that uh wood the christian wood so we're gonna put all of our tokens towards him for now and he's gonna get he's gonna be the first player we get i'm gonna try to get the Allen iverson it's probably not gonna happen though but um you know if i can get him from the auction block then i'll go ahead and do that so that we can start building up our finesse lineup so before we end off the video uh let me show you guys my progress on the steve kerr so if we go over to campaigns and we go to rebirth i just got done with volume four bro when i tell you this takes forever it takes forever and it takes a whole lot of stamina to get done so we're currently uh on this one right here so we're going to start grinding this one out we just got to get through volume five and then after that we got the bonus volume right here uh we do get some decent rewards though uh we get uh right here we got a premium pack 25k 200 cash <coughs> excuse me so i'll go ahead and take it but you guys see this steve kerr gives elite goat gold high flyer and elite dead eye uh, the coach right now we're currently using steve nash for our strategic lineup and i'm just looking to build up another lineup you know what i mean i'm going to be rocking two two god squads uh, i would build up a power lineup but you know the power lineup is in my opinion the worst out of the three so we got a strategic lineup right here this one is currently a 99 overall and then um we're still working on that strategic metal i still need to get a foam finger and the whistle and not the whistle but the scoreboard and once we get that strategic metal i will be selling the strategic metal because you can sell that card for like 20 30 mil and i'm trying to take advantage of that so yeah here's what the squad's looking like we got steve nash mono ginobili we got lebron james a small forward dirk Nowitzki at power forward and uh moses malone not carl malone moses malone at the center position right there all right so overall the new fourth of july promo is not good 
this promo is not good it's a complete money grab you're going to have to spend a good amount of money bro you're going to have to spend a good amount of money to get you know any of those masters and since none of those players could really like fit my team I'm not really going to go cra too crazy grinding for it, all right? I'm just going to be waiting for the NBA Finals campaign. So until that campaign drops, I'm going to be uh, grinding for that Steve Kerr, all right? Simple as that. Um, I'm still going to be grinding these events because I could use the... Well, at the end of the day, the Christian Wood's really not going to help us anyway. I mean, we do have Malone right here, but if I want to go 10 out of 10 strategic... Then I could throw to Christian Wood right here. He might get boosted up to like a 99 overall. Then right here, we'll have the Will Chamberlain. And then, of course, once we get the monthly master uh, Will Chamberlain, then that'll boost our team up even more. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think this promo is garbage. Like, let's keep it 100. Like... You know, normally, like, the 4th of July campaigns really aren't super crazy, but at least, like, drop, like, a better pack or something to open in the store. Like, there's literally nothing to open. Like, normally, we get, like, some 4th of July packs that have some 4th of July players that we could open up, and, you know, we might be able to pull some heat, you know, to, to be able to sell for millions of coins. It's like, there's no excitement. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to get these masters done like you legit have to buy the bursting starter you probably have to buy all three of these and then you'll probably have to buy the firecracker special like you have to but you you pretty much have to buy all these packs if you want to get this stuff done bro and i'm not doing all that just for 98 Allen iverson i ain't doing all that so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below my new album the second coming is streaming live on all platforms spotify itunes apple music so make sure to go cop that you know what i'm saying let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um follow me on instagram follow me on twitter those links will be down below as well Hopefully the conference final, or not the conference finals, but, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully the NBA finals promo is a dub because these last couple of promos have not been good. I ain't even gonna lie. The last promo, the last good promo we've had, uh, shout out to that dude following me on SoundCloud. My SoundCloud will be down below, go check it out. But the last good promo that we've had was the Lightning versus Thunder promo. That was the last good one we've had. The conference finals promo was not good in my opinion it was not that good even though i got the steve nash and all of the other masters i still don't think it was that good in my opinion um <clears throat> yeah and every promo after that has not been good uh we didn't really get anything for father's day uh the fourth of july promos trash and then what what else did they drop the draft the draft combine promos trash so ea really needs to step it up <clears throat> the nba finals promo needs to be fire so hopefully it is that should be dropping in the next couple of days i think it'll drop maybe on wednesday it might drop tomorrow but it's probably going to drop on wednesday so hopefully it's fire you know uh we'll get a sneak peek uh on that pretty soon so once we get a sneak peek i'll make a video about it all right so yeah drop a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new and y'all know the slogan screw the haters i'll see you guys later peace out I don't remember the last time I gave my mom a hug Every day I'm smoking bug, getting drunk, having fun Homework not getting done, make it count low on funds I sweep it under the rug, it bites me in the butt, what the fuck I wonder why I'm in the dumps, getting stuck in the mud Just know that change is gonna come, uh I'm my own enemy And it's clear to